Meet Wilfred Britton, folks, if you can keep your eyes off the girls. Oh, all right, meet the girls too. One has a piece of iron and the other two small holders. Well, now watch Wilfred. He puts the iron behind his neck just to get it into shape, and then he really goes to town. He's got a natural bent for this sort of thing, see what I mean? Just to show there's no deception, here are two guys to straighten things out, with just about as much success as you know. But Mr. Britton has no trouble, no trouble at all. Ah, well, you know the old slogan, Britain can break it. Just in case you haven't guessed, Wilfred's a strong man from the Tivoli. Very few people could even stretch that spring gadget. It represents a 1,200 pounds pull, a world's record. But he can stretch it, lift the two girls, and give them a merry-go-round all at once. I wouldn't mind being able to pick up a couple of girls like that myself. But you ain't seen nothing yet, nothing at all. This here's a bus, an eight-ton bus, and Wilfred figures he can pull it on a perfectly level road with his teeth. Of course, he can't do it. Well, these guys can't anyway. What's wrong with them? The thing's got no passengers? They'll never get a gold pass, not enough pool with the transport department. Mr. Britton takes the bit between his teeth. He's got to be careful, though. He might bite right through it. After all, it's only steel. He takes the strain, a few heaves, a couple of grunts, and it's moving, the whole eight tons of it. But think what he's doing to his bridge work. Wilfred's done this over 800 times. He's waited 10 years and now he's at it again. If only they'd let him have a go at the spirit of progress. Now there's something he could really get his teeth into. This saves wear and tear on the engine. When anything goes wrong, you don't take the bus to a mechanic. You take Mr. Britton to a dentist. Wilfred's upper jaw is swollen and a few teeth are loosened. It must be easier just to pay your fare. He's had it, and no wonder, another victory in the Battle of Britain, and none of our molars are missing.